right, so where in the world are we off to today? Well, we are headed for Winona, Mississippi. I am going to buy another engine and another transmission, but it's not what you think. So, y'all come along. All right, well, there he is. The Nissan plant, right there. And it is quite massive. See, they got their own water tower, and we're fixing to be coming alongside the manufacturing facility and it just keeps going and going and going and going Alrighty guys, we made it down here to Winona and we have loaded up the 206 cylinder. I told you we were going to pick up a motor and uh, let's swing around here and I'll show you what we got. Alright, we have a 206 cylinder with a C4 transmission behind it. Um, I bought it from this gentleman right here named James. and. Uh, we're gonna take a minute, we're gonna go around. James has a few cars that I think some of you guys out there would be interested in looking at. So uh, what did you uh, say that this, you think this may have come out of? Uh, 68, uh, 68 Mustang, it's a 68 block. Okay. It's got a C8 part number on it. Okay, so not exactly sure, but pretty confident that it came out of a Mustang. And over here to my right, we have Joe. He is James's brother, and he's going to come along for the walk along. So let's go up here up the hill and uh, take a look at some of your cars. All right, James, what is the first car that we have here to look at? This is a 65 Cyclone Mercury Comet. Uh, I've had this car since the 80s. Got it from a guy named Robin Church at Ready Strip in Jackson, Mississippi. And, uh, what can you uh, tell me about this car? Yeah, let's raise the hood and take a look and uh, talk about what's in here. It's got the 289 A-code, four-barrel engine, uh, factory four-speed. What all have you done to this vehicle so far? As far as I, I noticed, you got the you put Wash a hood, it. you put a hood on it. Yeah, Wash I got it. a Creeks hood from Ohio, the Ram Air hood for it. And I've had the seats upholstered there in the house. And if you want to look up here, it's still got the original floor pan. Yeah, this car, you, he said that this car has original, original floor pans. And this is a real cyclone, so it's not, not something somebody it's, made. It's not a clone. Make sure we get that. The sheet metal on this car is really good condition. And uh, when did you, uh, you had done something underneath? I did that back in 85. We did, uh, painted all up under there and had jewel exhaust put on it. Spider web under there. Yeah, man. 
other than the uh, cobwebs from where it's been sitting, you can see where he's painted everything in the dual exhaust and it's all pristine underneath. But you don't find these cars in that condition. Just over here off to the left though, we've got another car that you don't often find. And uh, what are we looking at here? This is a 70 Mach 1, 351 Cleveland FMX transmission, factory air, AM8 track. Gotta have the 8 track. Yeah, back in 1970, everybody had to have the I 8 track. I still got all my 8 track. <laughs> This all original floor pan in here too, correct? Yeah, that's original. All original. He went in and repainted everything, made it nice and pretty. Um, he's been working to get the, uh, the dash back in it and the wiring. He redid the heater box. All that's been rebuilt. So somebody had done a respray on the car at some point in its life, but overall the sheet metal is all in good condition. It's just uh, dusty from sitting. All right, and moving right around the corner is another Comet. And what can you tell me about this one? This is a 65 Comet Calalente convertible. Calalente means hot. And it's got the less than hot inline six, but... The reliable but reliable that's right and what did you tell me that this engine is actually out of this is, came out of a 78 uh fairmont transmission and motor it's got the seven bolt mains and the hardened valve seats and valves in it power steering air condition and the body on this one as well is in what I would I would just about classify as immaculate but com compared to some of the stuff compared to mine yeah you've got some rust but you know whoop come back here even my body's got a little rust on it that's right <laughs> but the car's complete and it's all there uh it's original convertible top this original this is <laughs> this is the original top yeah. oh yeah I'm sure I mean he's got Stuff like this, the original squirter bottle, all the original posters in it. And is this original 72,000 miles? I don't know. It looks like it. Probably it is because it's got the original seats still in it, the covers. I would say that it probably is the original mileage because generally speaking, the uh, mileage doesn't line up straight and pretty once it's gone over. I wouldn't think it'd have 172. Yeah. Well, the canopy mechanism still works? Yeah, the electric top still works. The floor pans have been done. You have to get down. You did have to redo the pans in this no, one? No, that's a still original pans on this one. Oh, okay. Original pans that you you took and cleaned up and painted. I cleaned right? them up and painted them, and I've re a lot of places up under there. Okay. All right, so what are we looking at here? This is my granddaddy brought this uh, truck brand new in 1954, so it's a one family owned truck. Does it run or have you done anything to it or is it just? Uh, I had some guys put an S10 frame up under there. I can't even open there. there it goes. They kind of boogered it up, so it's been sitting there ever since. Well, it looks like it's got a little small block 350 in it. Yeah, it's a 350 with a 350 trans. I mean, they did stuff like put headlight wires through naked metal. When that eight, when that eats through there, it's going to cause a fire because there's not a fuse on it. They did the same over here. Got a wire going through naked metal with no grommet. So when that eats through there, it's going to be a fire. So you, so you got a lot of little work to do to it. I'm going to take it off and redo the whole thing. This is what not to do, segments. <laughs> yeah, this is what not to do. And I don't know if you can see where the brake pedal is there. Look where that. Look how high that brake pedal comes up. 
Yeah. I'm, you got to put your knee in your mouth to put the brakes on. Just about out of light in here. There it is. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. way, you, way, you way too high. You got to put your knee in your mouth. You got to go around the steering wheel with your knee to put the brakes on. There's, um, there's not a proportion valve to adjust the brakes from the back to the rear, so it, it stops like you're hitting a brick wall. So it's got to all be redone. It's just money wasted. And I've got to get another rear end to put under there because they took all my emergency brakes out and tossed them out. And I want emergency brakes on my vehicle. I've seen too many accidents. Something goes wrong, you want something to stop you. Well, guys, yeah. I wish I really had, wish I had time to go over everything that we just talked about on this truck. Um, Jamie, uh, Jamie, James. That's Jamie. 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 Yeah. I love it. My brain. Anyway, it looks like Jamie got taken for a ride on this deal. Um, there's a lot wrong with this truck that he's going to end up having to redo because it was not done right from the start. Um, we just don't have time to sit here and film all of it, or I would. And uh, you can tell by the look of disgust on his face <laughs> that he actually had to pay money to get his truck hacked. So. Be careful who you use to work on your cars. Well, let's move on to greener pastures. What do you got sitting next door here? I got a reliable 47 Crosley. You say reliable. You're not being uh, facetious, <laughs> are you? I can sit nine months, and I'll come out here, and it'll crank right up. I wish I had the key. I would crank it up for you. Well, I have, I, in all my years of car going and doings, I have never seen one of these. Ever. What you see the air conditioner. In fact, in 47, the Crosley had a cable that would open up the hood like these cars have now. Look at this. 26 so, horsepower, 45 miles per gallon. Be careful, you'll have somebody over here trying to steal it getting 47 miles per gallon with the gas prices we get now. I, I want to tell you something, this thing is a chick magnet. I've had more girls want to ride in this than they did my Corvette. <laughs> that motor was also used by the military. Yeah, they used it on, um, they dropped with generators out of airplanes because it was so light. You could sit there and hold that block up, no problem. See if we got enough light in here. This thing. This thing's pretty neat. Seat folds down. Come on, camera. Get my camera to act right. What year did you say this was? 47? 47. Wow. I want you to look at this sticker on the back. Can you see that? Some of you young folks don't know who that is. I know who it is. You're right. This world could use a little of that. That's a history of it. Yeah, that's Mr. Magoo. Mr. Magoo. So you drive this occasionally? Oh, yeah, I had it out two weeks ago. I got some Jurassic Park magnet stickers I stick on the doors. Look like something from Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh, yeah, look on the steering column. It's got an air conditioner on there. It's vacuum powered. Vacuum powered? What is going on with this stupid thing? There it I goes. Roll it outside. There we go. And that was a factory option? Yeah. Wow. 
I've only seen one other one. That was 20 years ago on eBay, and I ain't seen another one since. Yeah, somebody somewhere would pay a pretty price for that. Everybody thinks this car was made in Europe, but it's made here in America. Crosley's the same guy that made refrigerators. Can I get it closed in the middle? Oh, yeah. oh, okay. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap us up. I want to thank uh, Jamie. I want to thank Joe for uh, taking me around and showing me all the stuff they got around here. There's a lot more behind the scenes that we I, uh, that he's got inside the house, but uh, I don't think I want to film inside his house. <laughs> so that's, a, that's another story. But we are about to head back toward uh, Jackson, and uh, we'll catch these guys next time. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Welcome.